Hi guys, welcome back to my channel one more time. Today I am doing a get ready with me, so that means you get to see how I do my makeup, how I style my hair, um, and what outfit I'm wearing. And then I'm pretty sure I'm gonna involve like a little bit of a vlog in there because I'm gonna go shopping today um, for the kiddos and for me. So I'm just gonna I just probably put that all together for you guys. So if you would like to see how I get ready and what I wear, what I do in my hair, then just keep watching. So I did my eyebrows and I cleaned them up. Let me tell you guys what I did that with. First, I used the Palladio Brow Definer. I've shown this one before in my previous video, and this is in black brown. Then I just set that and added some more intensity with, with the Smashbox Matte little palette that I have that I always use, and I just use the darkest brown in the palette and set that. Prime my eyes with the Tarte Concealer in a medium. I used a bone color all over my lid to set to that concealer in place. Now we're going to start on with our eye look. And I just like to keep it simple for you guys. So if you have a bronzer, you can use any bronzer. I have the Hoola Bronzer. I have the Wet n Wild Bronzer. I have also the NYX um, palette. So whatever you have, I have these little Anastasia contour kits. They're part of the contour kits, and they're just little individual ones. So I'm going to use these today. Um, but like I said, if you have any other bronzers, you can use them. Excuse my crazy hair. So we're going to start off with this um, lighter bronzer. This is Nutmeg from the individual contour kits and we're going to use a fluffier brush. So like I said, I'm picking up a big fluffy brush. This is a NYX brush. Um, and then we're going to just go back and forth in windshield wiper motions into the crease. I like to bring it pretty far in and then pretty far out. Then I'm going to go with my second fluffy brush. This one's a little bit more dense. I'll show you guys the difference. So this one is a little bit less. It doesn't have as many bristles. Um, this one has a little bit more and it is a little bit more compact instead of this one. I don't know if you guys can tell. And then we're going to go into this second darkest shade. I'm going to keep it pretty low. I like to just stamp it on where I want it at first with the deeper shades. So I just stamp like that. So I want to just put it all over the crease pretty much. I'm going to go and blend the harsh lines out just with a light, light hand. Now I'm going to keep the same shade right here. I could also go dark. I'm just going to go in with a more dense brush. And I'm going to go into that same bronzer shade. And I'm just really going to pack this on towards the outer V of my eye. And then bring it into the crease just to deepen it up a little bit more. Oh, I'm going to be going into the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to take this bronzy gold shade right here. Use your finger, you could use a brush, whatever. I'm just going to use this flat brush. Pack this on to the lid. I'm going to add a little bit of this mustard yellow to the look from the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going to take my fluffiest brush for the next one. Take that mustard yellow and just add it up here. Now I'm just going to take some liquid liner. You can take whatever liquid liner you want. I'm going to be taking the NYX um, matte liquid liner. My favorite liner in the entire world. We're going to try this L'Oreal Paris Infallible Matte Lock Primer today. And I think I'm going to put some of my Palladio primer on still just because I have trust issues with primers. And it just looks like kind of a lotion. Right. I'm going to add this Palladio Rice Primer as well just because I'm going to have a long day today. So I just like to add this. I get really oily and this one just instantly mattifies me. It's crazy. 
hopefully they mesh well together. If they don't, well, <laughs> I'm screwed. Today I'm going to be using the famous Anastasia Stick Foundation. I'm almost out and I'm so sad that I'm almost out. Add some of this LA Girl. I need to go get some more of this because I'm seriously so out. But there's still a lot in here, which is insane. If you just dig your foundation out of your things, like how much is left? Insane. So I'm going to use this LA Girl Pro Coverage High Definition Foundation in Nude Beige. And I just literally scrape it out with like a brush or something because there's a lot in there. I'm not just going to throw it away. This foundation that I just took out of there. Crazy. Oh, oh. I promise it's okay to do this. I'm going to use my beauty blender like always to blend all this together. We're going to mix of concealers. I'm going to mix the light towards the like inner half of the eye. I'm almost all out of this. And then also towards the nose. And then go up here. Go down the nose. Forehead, chin. We're going to add the medium tart shape tip. towards the bottom half of it just so it can blend out nicely into the foundation. I'm going to blend all this out with the Beauty Blender again. Of course we're going to set everything with, you guys know, the Airspun a Naturally Neutral Powder, my favorite powder to set underneath my eyes. Be careful with the eyebrows. Okay. Today I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Face or Loose Finishing Powder in light medium. Take this brush by It Cosmetics and set the foundation. For bronzer, I'm going to try this one. It might be a little too warm, so if it is, I'm going to mix a little bit of this Hoola bronzer in. But I feel like I want it to complement my eyes. Okay, so I'm going to use this Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blush in bronze. It's just a pretty peachy bronzy shade. I'll just put that on my cheeks. Contour with the Hoola Bronze with my favorite fan brush like always. We're just going to hit the cheekbones. And then we're going to fix our nose contour with just some extra translucent powder or naturally neutral powder just because lately I've been really trying to get a good nose contour. I'm just going to take that bronzy shade again that we used all over our face and on in the eyes and I'm going to smudge it my water on. I look crazy right now. <laughs> Ignore my faces. And then today, I'm not going to be adding any bottom mascara, but I will be putting another coat of mascara over what I just have. I'm just going to dust off that powder. Now it's lip time, so I'm going to use this Essence Long Lasting Lip Liner I'm in Lovely Frappuccino. And I'm going to line my lips, and then I'm going to fill it in with the Huda Beauty bombshell liquid lipstick my favorite combination here I love these two together I 
forgot highlight and I'm gonna use my favorite highlight which is the Physicians Formula Butter Highlighter in champagne. Use my sponge just because it's one of my favorite things to use to apply highlighter and I'm gonna pack this highlighter on you guys because ooh, I'm just feeling the highlight today. This can can you guys see that? You don't see that? Oh it's so pretty. Be careful but I'm gonna take it on my cupid though carefully. Then I'm just gonna add some here. Add some to my nose. And I'm going to intensify my nose contour just a little bit. I'm just going to be using the Hula Bronzer again. I just feel like I need to deepen it a little bit. Just like touch it. Perfect. Hey guys, so my camera died. I might just keep it like this. Hold on. What am I going to do with my hair? I'm gonna, I think I just want to keep it like this. Sometimes whenever I like my hair the way it is, I didn't know it was going to turn out like this, but I like it. I like the way it, it looks, so I'm going to keep it like that. I just have a little spray bottle here, and I'm just spray my hair. I'm not going to brush it out, and I'm not going to straighten it. I think I just like my natural hair today. And the water just helps like the frizziness, and it just not looks so crazy. And I like this top. I just like the way green looks on me. I like this top, so I might just take it. I'm wearing, oh, there we go. I'm wearing like a little bralette here. I hate wearing real bras now, so. And I just kind of want my bralette to show a little bit, so I'm just, I might just like. You guys, this is how I take my pictures. <laughs> It's funny because every time I ask that he took my picture or something, I'm always like so serious. And everyone's like, well, say you're never that serious. I'm like, I know, I'm only serious whenever I take pictures. So, I ended up going with this little bag right here. I got this at Rule 21. Like I said, it's just cute. And you can never forget your lipstick and your lip liner because those are necessary. I'm just wearing these little sneakers and some blue jeans. Got my recycle, got my belt. And today I'm driving my old car, my sister's car, because my sister and my mom took my car because they're going to the lake today. So I might go get something to eat just because I haven't ate anything. It's already 10 and I've been up since like 6. So I might just go grab something to eat. Oh, I forgot my earrings at home. I'm gonna run to McDonald's. McDonald's is like my trusty friend. I grew up on McDonald's. <laughs> We're a very low income family. I still am very low income. So I love me some dollar menu and some cheap, cheap stuff, which is not the healthiest for you, honestly, but does this face look like it cares? No. Nah. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Days whenever I dreamt of like doing this, like driving through a drive through, getting a drink, vlogging. I don't know. It's just little things that I'm always so thankful for in my life because you have to be thankful for the little things. I remember the days where I'm like, I can't wait to like drive. I can't wait till you know I do this and that and I'm doing it now. And you know, sometimes we get too caught up on things that we like our future goals and where I need to be and but you, th you forget about all the stuff that you used to dream about doing and that you're doing now and we're still not thankful for it. You know what I mean? But I'm just so thankful for the stuff. <laughs> TV is a haul over what I got today just because I want to and I told you guys that I took you shopping but I didn't film anything because my phone ended up dying. So I just didn't film anything so I'll give you guys a big old haul for you okay so I'm not gonna tell you guys the prices because I did get a lot of this stuff on sale um, and I don't even remember what I got on sale and what I didn't so <clears throat> I'm gonna show you guys what I got I got this little off-the-shoulder shirt right here and it has 
this black detail and then it's just white this is definitely see-through so I'd wear this with like a little just like a white bralette or like a little white tank top a nude bra I would wear that it's just see-through and I don't know why they make things so see-through now I don't really like that look but you know what it was a really cute top and I think it was on sale for cheap cheap I got this little top for Aaliyah um, this one I only got because it was on sale for like two dollars so I got it um, and I don't know if I really like it I'll, but I think I'll like it once it's on her because it's just a, like a little weird it's green and pink but I do like it. it's not ugly or anything it's just it's not something that I would normally pick out for her but since it was on sale I just grabbed it this is a dress that I got for Aaliyah um, it's just a really cheap dress so I just picked it up plus I love the pattern of this dress um, and then I got her a lemon dress do you guys remember what I never showed you guys a lemon outfit but I got Leah a lemon outfit exactly like this but it was just like some sweatpants and a little t-shirt but this one's a lemon dress and this one was also very cheap so I just picked it up for her and I love like the little detail moving on to some of Anthony's things I got him some jean shorts I, I hope these fit him these are size five to six but figuring out his sizes and things is just kind of complicated right now so I just got five six and they're super cute for him this is what the back looks like him these green shorts that just have like safari animals all over them just these plain green ones I like how this color looks on him so I got him just some plain green ones and then I got him some like polos just because um he needs some like just casual dress up shirts so I got him this bright blue one, I got him this bright orange one, and then I just got him a white one to go with whatever. So I got him these three colors, him these little PJs, so I thought they were so cute. There's just like the Lego people, and they come with it in little shorts. And girls, I got these little dresses for 4th of July, and they just have little stars on them. These were also really cheap, I think they're like $4.99. I got a Leah one, and then Natalie one. So they just, they're gonna match, I think. And then for the girls, I just grabbed them some shorts because they're like in desperate need of some shorts. So I grabbed, these are Aaliyah's and they they have a matching one. So this one's Aaliyah's as well. Look how cute that is. Such a cute one. And then I got her just a plain blue one and these are Aaliyah's as well. And then Natalie got the, got these little butterfly ones. And then I got her these little short ones, or these little navy ones. And then these ones, just like Aaliyah as well. Little watermelon ones. And then, moving on to what I have for myself, I got myself these cute, cute little shorts. They're just like the cutest little shorts ever. And I tried them on, and I love the way they look. So I got myself two of these little tank tops just because I'm feeling more comfortable with myself. Um, I always had the biggest issue with like self-confidence, self-worth, so um, I'm stepping out of it. I think I'm starting to love my body, who I am. So I got these little tank tops, and they just kind of like that. I got a little orange tank top like this. It's so cute. I'm definitely stepping out of my comfort zone, you guys. I got these little swimsuit bottoms to put on top was $4.99 so that's what I grabbed that's what it looks like so cute this little shirt right here I just love the color of it it's just a cream mustard striped shirt grabbed these shorts and they're just cute little sweat shorts I guess this dress right here and it's so soft it's so thin and I feel like it's perfect for summer but it's just like a little summer dress and it's super super pretty I think I just have some t-shirts to show you guys I got this little watermelon t-shirt which says refreshing on it and has a big old watermelon on it this white plain t-shirt right here I got this plain t-shirt with a little cactus thing on it and then I also got this black one, just like the plain um, white one that you guys saw. This is, is exactly the same. Um, and then I also got some black sandals from there. And that's about it. Okay, guys. So that is it for this Get Ready With Me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. <laughs> If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, click the notification bell if you haven't yet. Thank you guys for watching. 